Hello guys, so today we'll be looking at how to create a blogger website. Um, blogger is a completely free platform where you can create a free website for your business and you can upgrade as time goes on. So what we'll be looking at is how to create this kind of website for high blood pressure. Okay, this is a landing page and this is a sales page. So we'll be looking at how we can create exactly something like this for ourselves. Then uh, we also become a website owner. So the first thing we need to do is we log on to www.blogger.com. Okay, www.blogger.com. So once you log into it, will bring us here. So all we just need to do is click on create your blog. So once you click on create your blog, it will ask you to select a Gmail account which you want to use. So if you have any email account which you want to use, just select it. So I will be clicking this second email account. So it might take you here, it might take you somewhere else because I've used this email account before that I'm having this. So all I just need to do is click on this, click on create blog. So the next thing is it will ask you for your blog name. So um, this particular website is organic comedy i can give my my website let me say i b p organic remedy okay so next then blog address that is your website you are just like this website is organic remedy dot com the same way we are going to give our website URL, but in our own case, organic comedy, the name we are going to give, the address we are going to give our website will come with the blogspot.com because we are creating a free um, blogger website. So it's going to be IBP Organic Remedy. So click outside to check if the blog name is available. Once you see this, it means the blog name is not available. So let me say organic remedies. Let's see if that will be available. Okay, IBP organic remedies is available. So after that, I'll click on save. When you click on save, it will bring you here. So you have successfully created a blogger website. That is how fast, simple, and easy it is to create a blogger website. If you want to confirm that you just created your site, click on view blog. Then you can see this is the title, this is the site address IBP Organic Remedies dot blogspot.com. You can see this is the title you give your website. Okay, so now we want to first create a landing page which people will get to before they get to our sales page. So the landing page which we are creating will go to our IBP control panel. This is a control panel. The control panel is a kind of back end where you can take uh you can create the the um you can create the content that will appear on the front end of your website so i'm going to click on pages i want to create a landing page like this so all i need to do is when i click on pages i'll click on new page then the moment i click on new pages will open then i will start writing welcome to ibp organic remedy so now before I start writing, I'll first position this um, this particular cursor to be at the center. So I'll click on this three dotted icon, then click on alignment, then click on center align. So I will go ahead, copy this text. I'll copy it, then I will go to this, paste my text, okay. I'll paste it. Sorry about that. So I'll go to the next line. The next line is we have helped over 6,000 Nigerians normalize their blood pressure. I will copy it. Copy. Then align center. Paste it. It has aligned. It has been aligned to the center. 
then the next thing is image don't copy image directly it is not really advisable right click on the image save image as save it on your computer i'll be saving mine to desktop so i'll just say doctor checking bp i will save it to my download then i will save this as well now to get this particular kind of image this one is not actually moving go to google then type and or gif of and pointing down go to images then you will see a kind of gif that is very okay i think i like this so i will save this save image as gif okay i'm saving it to download and So I will save that. Then the next thing here is click here to learn more. Let me save it on my computer. Save image as I've saved that. Now let me tell you one thing. You can also decide not to save it on your computer. But for reference purposes, I would advise you to save it on your computer. You can copy the image, copy image alone then come to your blogger editor then drop the image paste it the image will automatically appear you can see but it will come with a link it will come with a link i will show you how to remove the link later so i'll show you how to remove the link later so the next thing is you want to give this image maybe you want to make it to be bigger than the way it is here just when you click on it click on this icon then click on large it will increase the size of the image so i'll press enter i want to upload this and pointing down gif i'll just click on this icon insert image then click on upload from computer it will open a platform where i can click on choose files then I will locate the image with the name I save it. This is it. So once it is fully loaded, click on select. Click on select. Then you can decide to reduce the size here. Okay. Press enter. Then the next thing is click here to learn more. Copy it. Copy image paste it so paste it okay now i want to show you how to remove link from image so if you want to remove link from image if you bring your cursor down to the right side of the image if it's not showing link just go to the left side of the image you will see the link attached to the image just click on remove link same thing applies to this click on remove link same thing applies to this click on remove link so no link is attached to this anymore so now the next thing is click here okay for faster and this is a test copy it then paste okay so you can decide to increase or reduce the size of this okay so I'll go ahead, click to chat in WhatsApp, copy, sorry, I wanted to copy the image, copy image, then paste, then click to call, copy image, then paste. Okay, so... You can reduce the size. You can reduce the size. What else then? Disclaimer. I will copy this disclaimer. Copy it. Then 
I will give it line. Okay. Okay. So, like this, I'm done with my landing page. I will click on publish to complete my landing page. Once I click on publish, I will click on this view, this eye icon. Once I bring my cursor down to it, I can click on this eye icon to view what I just created. You can see how stony it looks. You can see is it's just exactly the same way like this. It's just that the width is not like this. Okay, so I am done creating my landing page. Now the next thing I want to do now is create a sales page. Just like the way I showed you how to create a landing page is the same way. So for that means the reason I will have to fasten the process of creating a sales page to minimize the time we are going to spend on this tutorial. So I'm going to watch this and complete the sales page. So now if you want to create sales page, you will click on posts. The one we wanted to create landing page, we click on pages. So now I want to create posts. That is our sales page. So click on new posts. Then you go to the sales page, start copying information from there. I'll copy this from where I will see an image, then I will stop when I get to where there is image. So I will be copying image separately. The test also, I'll be copying the test separately. So, as for me, I would like to make this to be justified okay for good uh, appearance anyway right make sure you check your right top so that there is no error in your right top okay make sure you check your right top so that there is no error in your right top so I'll fasten the process now So I'm done with So I'm done with creating our sales page. Okay. So I will just need to click on publish after creating it. Click on publish. Then we are going to view our sales page to see what it looks like. So click on this view sales page. You can see this is what we just created. Okay. can see how beautiful it looks you can go ahead and modify yours you can see so now uh, how do we now link you know on this particular website we use for Quasica this is the landing page this is the landing page so when they click on landing when they click on click here to them we take them to their sales page so how do we do that on our own part two all we need to do is click on let me close everything from here. Let me close everything to avoid distraction. This is our control panel. Let's go to pages. No, let's go to posts first to view our sales page. View your sales page. Copy the link. Just follow this instruction. You will get it right. Copy the link of your sales page. Then go to your landing page. Then click on it. Don't view it. Click on it as if you want to edit it. Then click on this, click here to learn more. Then click on link at the top here. Paste the link which you just created, which you just copied here. Paste it into this space bar. Then click on apply. Okay. Then cl click on updates. Once you click on updates, click on back. So let us click on view. Let's close the sales page. So this is our landing page. We we'll now view it. Let's see what will happen. So click here to learn more. It will now take us to the landing to the sales page, which is the post which we created. So you can see. So we successfully linked our sales page and landing page together. But now one thing more you need to pay attention to here is the date you created this account. This post is showing, okay, and you don't want that to appear to people. Also. Um, it is showing this share icon at the top, which is not really okay. So you need to remove all this.
and also when somebody visit the website newly it will take them to our sales it will show them the sales page okay so which we don't want so all we need to do is close this tool to avoid distraction go to the back end now click on layouts click on layout then you can see let me click on view block so that i can be showing you what we are going to be removing this search icon at the top click on this pencil icon then turn it off apply so if you refresh this the search icon is gone click on this if you click on this you will see about me okay you can try to inst to input your about me information here so i will just leave that for the owner of the website to put it but if you want to remove that you can decide to remove that so i will just leave that for the owner of the website because i created this website for somebody actually so which i will be editing the information on the website so another thing is another thing is ibp header if you want to remove it i will just click on this header then turn it off and click on save I will scroll down to if you click this blog ar ar blog archive then label then report abuse look at this here this is archive under it is label another and abuse so I will click on blog archive turn it off save I will click on label turn it off save I will click on report abuse turn it off save then I will scroll down to featured post this one is showing like a featured post so i'll go on and say no featured posts and sh show this with get then click on save i've on i've stopped it from um appearing so the next thing is blog post so i will right click on i will click on this pencil icon then scroll down to where i can see dates show published time I will remove this show label I'll remove this show share button show sh location I'll remove that so only share button and some other things show comment count I may remove this and I may not so let me just remove it and click on save now let us refresh some of the things are gone you can see some of the stuffs are now gone so even when somebody visits our website, this is what they are going to see. Okay. So now how can we make how can we tell somebody to visit IBP organic remedies dot without them without this appearing to them? That's what we'll be looking at now. But before we go ahead and do that, let's look on popular post. Let us turn up popular post as well. Then footer. You can decide to put your footer information. The footer information will appear somewhere here. So I'm going to put I B P organic remedy. So I'll click on save. So I will refresh this to show you what happens. You can see I B P organic remedy is now appearing at the bottom. So now I want to make this particular link this landing page i want to make this landing page to be the main page people will get when they visit this website ibp organic remedies i want to make this landing page the main page all i need to do is copy this everything here all this link go to your c panel that is your blogger panel control panel then go to settings scroll down so where you can see error and redirect error and redirect click on custom redirect click on add click drop the link put forward slash at the on the form then the link you copied here the link of your landing page copy it paste the link then start removing everything you can see before this p starting from that forward slash then remove it so it will remain only p forward slash and so on then click on permanent you are making this page a permanent page 
for this website and click on ok okay click on it again remove one one form always do that because one form one forward slash will actually be actually be added to it because we will not put any forward slash here but one has been added so let's leave that so if you have two forward slash remove one and click on ok click on save you have successfully made your landing page to be your main website home page so when we click on view blog it will now take us to the landing page you can see to not take us to the landing page so like this we are done creating a blogger website this is how fast easy and simple it is for me and you to create a blogger website i will see you in the next tutorial bye bye